boys. So exciting times are coming and um, this is all about Jetty and INAV. Now, traditionally, you know, INAV has always supported the Jetty protocol, but it's kind of been a one-way stream. And um, what I mean by that is that essentially all you've ever had is channel information going through from your receiver through to Jetty via the XBus protocol. But it, it's kind of missed out on the critical bits that XBus provides, which is the two-way protocol, because a two-way protocol gives you telemetry. And, um, well, that's all about to change. Now, a bit of back history to this. About a month ago, I got in touch with um, Pavel. I think it's Pavel is how you say it. And um, he, he's one of the lead developers, if not the founder of INF. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, to be fair. But um, I mentioned the fact that I wanted to try and get proper two-way telemetry going. And um, I offered to send him a um, Jetty DS12 to get the job done. And, um, well, a couple of weeks later, and we have some magic. Um, I don't know how he does it. But it's fantastic. And what I've got, whoop, I've dropped my battery. There we go. Let me pick this up. There we go. So what we got here is a flight controller. I'm going to plug that back in for your general reference. There you go. So we have a flight controller. This is a little Matek F411 wing. And um, we have a jetty receiver. And that's all wired in and powered up. And it's talking to my radio. And as we can see, I'm going to move this up and down. And can you see? We've got values changing. It's, you know, it's showing various bits of information. And it kind of, essentially, there's data flowing in both directions. And that is superb. But, um, you know, the question is, why? Why would I want this to do this? Well, at its simplest level, let, let's take all of you Jetty users out there who currently use loads and loads of sensors. So maybe you've got a Vario, you've probably got a MUI sensor for the current sensors. You've got all this sort of stuff going on. Well, take a look at that board. I'll just hold just that board up. This is a relatively small, but you can get smaller flight controller. You can get these things down to a 20 by 20 mil flight stack. And um, on top of that board, I think I've actually got one going here. Let me pick it up if I can see it. No, I don't. I know I've got one around here. I've got a little GPS chip. I don't know. It's on my desk somewhere. I saw it this morning, but it's gone. But with that board and the tiny little GPS chip, which now probably becomes 20 by 20 by maybe 15 high, I can pretty much deliver a current sensor. I can deliver a Vario and an inertial management system moving around showing the angle a G4 sensor, a GPS coordinate, um, an altimeter. I keep going on and on. There's a lot of things. I can tell what heading the plane's going on. I can do all sorts of stuff. Because the thing about a flight controller, it's designed to pick up every single thing that happens to that aircraft when in flight. And it's not the exclusive abode of quadcopters, because at its simplest level, this thing is one sensor to rule them all. And because of the telemetry support going back to the radio, I can get everything. And that is pretty fantastic. It's, um, yeah, it truly transforms things. But um, being INAV, it doesn't kind of end there because this thing also acts as a full fly-by-wire system. So um, if, for example, I had XBus going onto this flight controller, I immediately have, oh, on this particular one, I've got four, I've got six servo outputs. So actually, I could connect just my receiver to that flight controller and expand it into six individual servo outputs. And there's lots of flight controllers, remember, so actually some of these flight controllers do more. So you've actually gained a whole lot of servo ports. And you could actually use a flight controller as a servo expander if you wanted to and apply all sorts of logic and mixing on the plane. You can use it as a fail-safe to get your plane back home if you were flying around and you needed a level mode or you just needed a return to home. It's all on this thing. And it, it, it's tiny. So imagine all those sensors, all that kind of fly-by-wire stuff, and you're onto a winner. It really is absolutely fantastic. It's, um, it's, it's mind-blowingly good. And it's taken, you know... <laughs> 
the, the truth is all of this has been available for some of the other protocols. You know, take TBS Crossfire, FreeSky. This is not rocket science. It's been there for a long time on the other systems, but it's kind of just not been there for Jetty. So it's, it's pretty monumental. This is a proper open source solution tied completely into Jetty. It's fantastic. I'm really excited about it. But um, yeah, so there you go. We have Jetty, we have INEV, we have support on the way. When it hits the mainstream on Modern Tidy, certain I suspect Pavel will probably release a stable and official version within the next few weeks. But don't hold me to that. But it's coming. I'm really chuffed. Anyway, guys.